at the time of the Big Bang, some 13.8 billion years ago, wherein a single photon had energy of the order of a billion electron volts, such that it spontaneously split into a pair of matter and antimatter. This is called twin pair productions. So, if both were made in equal amounts and they annihilated each other, then why does matter exist at all places? To explain this conundrum, there is an idea called leptogenesis. It is a time about 10 to the power minus 12 seconds just after the Big Bang. So, before we begin, we need to understand what is a baryon and what is a lepton. This is the standard model. These are the quarks, the leptons, the force carrier bosons and the Higgs boson. Now let's come to the baryons. A baryon is a particle made up of three quarks. For example, a proton is made up of three quarks. Similarly, a neutron. Also, all these particles have their own set of antiparticles. At the time of the Big Bang, the laws of physics which govern the universe today do not apply because charge, color, type and mass were meaningless. Fun fact, what you all know about the Higgs boson, that it provides mass to all other particles. But what you don't know, it cannot exist above a certain temperature threshold, which means in the earlier universe, mass couldn't exist. There is a very special type of a particle called a right hand heavy neutrino. This particle has very surprising properties. It gets its mass from a field which is similar to the Higgs field but not the same. The right hand heavy neutrinos are also Majoranas, which means they are their own antiparticles. They tend to oscillate between matter and antimatter states. I am on a swing oscillating between two extreme positions. But there are two strong magnets on the bottom of the swing and on the ground. Thus, they cannot stay at the bottom place. Similar is for the right and heavy neutrino particles. They tend to be in their antimatter forms because they tend to violate the charge and charge polarity symmetry. The more prevalent antimatter form of the right and heavy neutrino are extremely unstable. They tend to decay into antimatter lepton and a Higgs boson. The antimatter lepton then goes through the Sphalerian process. This is an antimatter lepton particle and this is a sphalerian process i can't show what's inside this because their brain are too primitive to understand when i put this antimatter lepton inside what i get is a matter baryon thanks einstein these matter baryons which are basically protons and neutrons clump up to make an atom and these atoms eventually make up the matter of the beautiful universe that we now see. Thank you for watching.